All right, in this lecture, we're going to learn about the Emacs editor. Uh, the previous lecture was on the Vi editor, and I think that uh, you'll find in Unix or Linux circles, uh, people are very evangelical about which editor they like. Um, I am actually not. I think they're both very good editors. I personally am a Vi user, um, mainly because that's what I learned first, and I tend to stick with it. Um, my personal philosophy is that you, you probably should know at least the basic commands in either one, uh, uh, but then choose which one you like and become an expert at it. Um, while I'm not evangelical about which one is better, I, I'm almost insistent that you must u learn to use one of them, um, or a proper editor in general. And proper editors are not typically your, your typical graphical editors like inedit or, or even worse, notepad or something like that on a Windows machine. So Emacs was a uh, you know, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a very powerful text editor. However, unlike Vi, it, there is a chance it may not be st installed by default on your Unix system. Uh, most Linux systems will have it uh, because it's part of the GNU um, Free Software Foundation. In fact, it was written by uh, the leader of that group, Richard Stallman. And uh, so th there could be a chance that it's not on your machine. However, you know, it, you can get the source is freely available, so you can easily install it on any use Unix machine. And, I, and then there I say it's, it's really more than an editor because uh, it can be a complete integrated development environment. It has very nice uh, split screen features and uh, incorporation with debuggers and other things like that. So uh, it's, it's very powerful and as far as it being an integrated development environment, it, it may actually be further along uh, that line th than the Vi editor. Vi you can, you can use uh, in combination with say GNU screen or something to kind of get that IDE feel, uh, but but Emacs is uh, more integrated in, in that respect. So Emacs is, uh, unlike Vi, is a modeless editor. You can actually just uh, start typing. Um, you, you better like to use the control key. Uh, your finger, when in editing mode, you know, you know I say mode, uh, when, when, you're, when you're actually editing text, uh, your finger lives on the control key or, or perhaps the, the meta key. So on a PC, uh, the meta key is typically the alt key. Older systems actually used to have a meta or an edit key. Um, so on a PC, that's typically the alt key, but regardless of the machine you're on, escape will always work uh, in, that, in that respect. And, uh, you know, Emacs has over a thousand built-in commands. Many of them have key bindings, uh, you know, or some combination of keystrokes that you can use to execute the command. But but not all of them. Uh, just real quickly, I, I have a version of, of Emacs that if you just type Emacs on Shamu, this is the, the graphical X window Emacs that'll pop up. Uh, so just briefly, we can kind of go over the different parts. Uh, you know, obviously there's a, there's a file menu at the top. Um, down here, though, this is kind of the more important. The, this line here in gray is, is called the mode line. And when you have a file open, that'll indicate where you're at in the file, the line number, the file name. Uh, there'll be a couple of asterisks here to indicate if the file is, is edited or not. Uh, and then finally, this, this kind of last line down here is called the mini buffer. And that uh, displays some Emacs commands. It also uh, is where you'll, you'll possibly enter some Emacs commands. So the most important thing is just to under, understand the sequence. Like when you look up Emacs documentation, you'll see things like uh, control E or CE. So this is uh, the control key and the, the letter E pressed at the same time. Uh, and so when you, whenever you see uh, control X, control B, this is the control and the X key at the same time, followed by Control and the B key at the same time. And that's different from, say, Control X B, which would be Control and the X key at the same time, and then release and press uh, the B, B key. And uh, then uh, Meta E is, is uh, if you have the, the Meta key on your, you know, Alt E would be uh, on a PC. Uh, however, no matter what machine you're on, you can always use escape. So in this case, 
uh, you don't hold the key down in, in order to uh, use the escape key uh, to replicate this feature we would type um, you know escape and then we release the escape key and type E. So to enter any command directly, as I said, you know, there's over a thousand built-in commands in Emacs. Uh, so to enter a, a command directly, we can type escape X or meta X, and then actually uh, in the mini buffer will will be an area for you to actually type text, and you can type you know the text so in this case next line would take you to the next line of course that's kind of clunky way to move around if you're just uh, moving to the next line so there are key bindings uh, for for a lot of these and uh, in this case um, the key binding to move to the next line is control N okay so uh, like like Vi, we can repeat commands. So if we wanted to do something, you know, any command that we have a key binding for, uh, we can repeat that command, uh, you know, by using the meta key. So if we say meta five, control N, well then that'll skip five lines. Okay. So the next uh, slides basically go through just a bunch of common uh, functions that are, you know, key bindings that that we use in in Emacs. And I'm not actually going to go through them. I, I just left left them here for your reference. Uh, I'll move over and do an example here shortly. Uh, but you know, basically they're broken down. And of course, this is not all of them. I refer you to the documentation or to Google. Uh, you know, but these are some of the more commonly used ones: uh, save and exit commands, uh, navigation, uh, some more navigation. You know, absolute navigation, scrolling. Uh, deleting text, uh, some other transformations, copying and moving and transposing and joining text, undoing and redoing commands, uh, pattern search and replace, and uh, you know some handling window buffers, uh, split screen and other things. So basically just keep in mind that you know anything you can do in Vi you can do in Emacs. You know I'll leave it up to the those that are evangelical about uh, you know, if you can do more and, and which one. But basically, uh, you know, there, there's some sequence of commands or key bindings that can allow you to do uh, basically uh, everything that you can do in Vi and in Emacs. So let's go uh, over to an example. Uh, um, I'll actually use the, the, same, uh, uh, the same example that I used uh, for the Vi lecture to show you how we'd edit a a small file. So if we, to launch Emacs, and, and in this case I'm running this locally on my Mac here, uh, so it won't be a graphical, the graphical version that you'll see on Shamu. The Emacs has, uh, you know, graphical versions or, uh, you know, terminal versions, command line versions. So the one I'm going to launch here on my Mac is just the command line version. So you'll see the, uh, the unedited file here and just I'm going to move over to kind of somewhere in the middle of the file to kind of show you the, the couple of key sequences that we would use to move around. So uh, to move to the beginning of the file, uh, we would type meta less than. That's going to move us back to the beginning of the file. Um, then to move forward one word, we would type meta f, okay? And then control f will move us one character forward, and then we can just enter in uh, the missing uh, less and sign there. So then uh, if we want to move to the end of the line, uh, the, then we would type control E, that moves us to the end, and we can complete uh, editing the first line there. Of course this is down here for reference. We're taking this uh, uncorrected version on the left and converting it to the, to the corrected version on the right. Okay. So now we want to move down two lines so that we can change int to void. So we're going to use the repeat command. So in this case, meta2 control n. That skips down two lines. Okay. And then we can type control a to take us to the beginning. Okay. So now we want to delete that word. We'll type meta d. And then we'll go ahead and type in the word. Okay. So 
Now we want to move forward in the file, uh, basically to edit uh, the, the, the first thing that we, we need to edit is the, uh, we need to change the single quote to a double quote. So we can do that by uh, typing control S and now you'll see down at the bottom in the mini buffer it, it asks us what, you know, what we want to search for. So if I just put in a single quote, uh, it'll take us to that single quote and uh, then we can edit it by just using the backspace command to delete it and then entering in the double quote, okay? And we'll go ahead and search again. We, we could use a skip word, you know, we could skip a few words forward to get to the 10. Uh, uh, we could also use control S 10 D uh, to get there. And we're, it, it places us in a perfect place to, to go ahead and edit it. So we could just, the uh, easiest way is probably just delete and then type in the text we want to replace it with. Then we want to move forward, delete, replace the, the single quote with a uh, double quote. Then we're going to move down a line. So we type uh, control N and then control B to move back the, the cursor back into place uh, to the exit and then we type in the text there the one and then finally we're al we're almost done so we type uh, control N I'm sorry uh, hit the wrong key there control N to move down a line and then we type in the final brace there oops okay so now we're complete. Uh, we can go ahead and save this by typing uh, Control X, Control C, and it'll give us the option if we want to save it or not. In this case, I I'm actually going to not save it, so I'll just say no. And then it once the, you know it says modified buffers exist, exit anyway. I'll type yes, and and we're out. So that's just a short example of how we use Emacs. Uh, you know, again, I refer you to the documentation. They also have a nice tutorial built into the tool. Uh, and just keep in mind that uh, anything you can do in Vi, you should be able to do in Emacs. There's some key sequence. And, uh, you know, I, 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 my advice is to practice a little bit with both of them, decide which one you like better, and become an expert in that, in that one.